The most underrated aspect of every TI might just be the talent who play a crucial part in building up the hype for the event along with creating lasting memories. Who can forget LD's casting of the play at TI2? Now he's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep, the surge. He catches everyone. Oh, Toby One's amazing call of Universe's dunk at TI5. Ready for the dunk. And of course, Red Eye's brutal, savage, wrecked. However, it's not just the moments in game that make the international a true celebration of Dota 2. There is one personality who's become a regular over the years, one who had little to no prior experience with esports before the international. Her first foray into our world came at the biggest esport tournament ever held. Yes, we're talking about Casey Aitchison, and this is her story. Casey was born and brought up in Seattle, Washington. Although she wasn't an avid gamer, Casey still dipped her toes into the world of gaming, playing popular titles like Tomb Raider, Minesweeper, Super Mario Smash Bros and more. Super Mario Bros and more. She attended the University of Washington where she majored in communications and political science. She would then join KBKS FM, a radio station where she worked for 10 years before finally making the leap to the TV industry with the Q13 Fox network. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, no. There's no racing is the thing. Oh, that's amazing. Um, let's see. That's so good. It was here that she became a household name with the Q13 Fox News this morning and was even nominated for a Northwest Regional Emmy Award. Meanwhile, Valve had started auditioning for a stage host at the International 2013, the biggest one yet. Casey was selected to be part of the tournament after Valve took notice of her skills and her enthusiasm. What is this bitch? <laughs> this was her first esports tournament. Fans were apprehensive of Casey's ability to relate with the community and her ability to gel with the crowd attending the event in Seattle. However, she won them over with her charisma and humorous nature. My job is to also give a voice to the fans and give them an opportunity to come together as a community and connect with the players. Her backstage interviews with the pros and fans were also a massive success. I'm a big deal. <laughs> with her interview with Ice 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 becoming viral amongst Dota 2 fans. Um, th are you Ice Ice Ice? Uh, no. What's your name? I'm, I'm not. Are you Michael? No, they're trolling you. This entire room is going... <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Hmm? That's right. I like immediately went back to when I was in middle school and everybody was laughing at me for something. I have no idea what it was. There's something going on here that I'm not aware of. One of the hardest you know, interviews to do is if you're talking to someone who does not want to speak to you, is it that they are nervous or is it that they just don't want to frickin' talk to me right now? He's like, yes, please move on. All right, duly noted. When um, TI3 came to a close, Casey's inclusion in the tournament was perceived as a success. Hello guys. Thank you, James. Yeah, Puppy Series already giving me a hard time, so I can tell we're gonna have a good good time here, don't you think, Puppy? Nah. See? You see what's happening here? Yes. How are uh, you feeling about the tournament so far? What what has been the, the highlight for you? Um having a diarrhea every single day. <laughs> as long as you don't play tight under like Shiver, everything's fine. The hero's pretty good. You don't know who Shiver is, but No, but I think I saw her in the in but the lobby. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not that famous yet. <laughs> Nobody has played it like that here, so it's not that famous. That sounds lovely. I'm going to send it back to James. Thank you again. <laughs> ice, ice, ice. He's just really good at making situations awkward. You didn't mean diarrhea. You mean diary. Like you wrote your diary this morning. And they're like, no, nope, diarrhea. Oh, God. Folks, I heard him right. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew it made me feel uncomfortable. And I respect him for that. Casey went on to host a successful AMA on Reddit after the conclusion of the tournament, and fans started clamoring for her return at the International Four. Valve obliged, thereafter making her a permanent fixture at the International. Casey returned to TI5 and began recording pre-TI interviews with players, giving Dota 2 fans an insight into the expectations and mindset of pro players heading into the tournament. Her experience in mainstream media enabled her to make the players open up and describe their thoughts clearly. How do you feel about your chances coming into this international with complexity versus past internationals with different teams? Um, I feel like 
complexity, we're kind of an underdog because a lot of people, you know, we're, we just, we're a very new team. We're only together for about three months, maybe. Gaming is huge in South Korea, but Dota, not so much. Not really. <laughs> what, what made you decide to play Dota? Well, I used to live in Canada and then, so I was into Dota. I was playing competitive. And then I finished my school, so I had to go back to Korea. And when I went back, I figured out there's going to be a Dota team. So I joined up and then here I am. <laughs> However, her most popular content from TI5 was created during an interview with March from MVP Phoenix after they knocked out Team Empire from the tournament. She asked him to express himself after his victory. The rest is history. One, two, three. <laughs> you win. <laughs> At TI6, we saw her getting paired up with Sir Action Slacks for the first time, where they co-hosted the event and pushed out some impressive filler content. Okay, excuse me, wow. excuse me. could you come back for a second? Oh my god, is that one of the members of the Yakuza that came in with the white suit yesterday <laughs> talking about my suit? Hey, oh, hey. I'm scared now! Hey, That's it's the cartel, minutes. okay? It's the cartel! Oh my god! Many fans thought that Casey will not be making an appearance at TI7 due to the fact that she was expecting a baby. But she surprised many, attending the event and even opening the show with one of the best intros to an esports event till date, featuring herself as Omni Knight, Slacks as a sexy blonde chick, Punk Gaben, and of course 2GD. Following the birth of her child, Casey quit her job at the Q13 Fox Network to take care of her. This is a this is a sad day for us because after nine years, we're saying bye to our Casey. However, she still returned to DI8 to film more segments. She began interviewing teams as a whole and even handled the controversial OG and EG interviews with poise and professionalism. So we're going to talk about the thing that everybody is talking about, which is S4 and Fly leaving, and you all had to reset pretty quickly. No tell for you, how, what was that like going through that change? I'm actually not that willing to talk about it. Yeah. It's uh, something for later, yeah. another day. Fly and S4, why did you leave OG? The team hasn't worked for a long time. Uh, and I can say personally that I lost a lot of motivation when the whole uh, situation arised where I could join EG. How hard was it to the, tell your team of your decision? It was hard. She also paired up with Sir Action Slacks and Gaben himself to film his iconic announcer pack segment. Let's try double kill with bloodlust! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for playing Dota 2. Double kill. Casey also traveled to Shanghai alongside the Dota 2 crew and continued to film filler content, this time teaming up with Chinese personality Dove. Hello and welcome to Shanghai! Yeah, we've got the world's best tour guides Dove and Eve for us. Yeah, we're very happy to have you here. You probably think this is Shanghai. Yes. Isn't it? But we have so much more to offer. We're going to show you the entire Shanghai. Mm. Yeah, let's go back in time. OK. Yes. We can just do that? Cool. Now, following the conclusion of TI9, Casey has been employed by Valve to officially join the company full-time and has also confirmed her involvement at the International 10. She joins the ranks of Bruno, who also joined Valve after working as an on-screen personality for multiple years. However, Bruno's new role has restricted his presence in front of cameras at the International. It'll be interesting to see if Casey's position at Valve plays out similarly. Perhaps she'll also be involved with other eSport titles like CSGO. Well, we'll find out soon enough. If I had a time machine, I would go back to 10-year-old me and I would start playing Dota 2. And I would be here as a player and I would be going for $18 million. And y'all be interviewing me and you'd ask me questions. And I'd say, I don't know, I have diarrhea. Thanks for watching guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like or the dislike button to let us know what you're thinking and of course, follow us on our socials. Once you're done with all of that, do a backflip. I, I can't oh, look, believe there's it. There's a cake. No, there's no cake. Oh. That's a lie.